Hey guys, <sighs> welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Kiana and I do a lot of sewing and fashion videos. Um, today we're gonna be a little bit more casual. I am gonna be showing you how I'm patterning and making my next design, my next pattern design. Yeah, I feel like I've been too caught up in like creating like these perfect like sewing tutorial videos for my patterns that I've like kind of lost like the pattern making aspect of my channel. I mean, I still do like pattern making videos, but not usually with a pattern. You know what I'm saying? If you know, you know. <laughs> um, anyways, today I just kind of wanted to like take you guys along with me, show you the whole process of me making this pattern so that you can pattern it yourself too. And then probably like next week, I'll have the actual sewing pattern now if you want to use that and the sewing tutorial. So you're like getting two videos on the same topic. And this is just gonna be like more chill, relaxed, still educational though. So let me know if you like the vibe of this video cause I can definitely make more. Yeah. All right, so let me show you what I'm actually making. Okay, I sketched it in my fashionary women's wear sketchbook. Obsessed with this thing. I've been into like sketching on paper recently just because I gotta get away from the digital. Like I've been on the iPad too much so Back to this, so. Okay, so here's a sketch. Basically, I just wanna make this skirt with this V front and these panels. So like princess seams and a center seam and a slit. Um, and then I also wanna make it out of faux leather. So that's what we're going with. I always do panels on faux leather instead of darts just because it's really hard to dart leather. I'm really excited. So let me show you how I've patterned it thus far. Let me show you where I'm at right now. And again, this is not the full pattern. I'm on my prototyping stage. So this is what I got so far. If you're like, what the heck is this? Let me explain to you. This is the back of the skirt. And then over here is the front of the skirt. You can see the front waistline slopes downwards because of that V design. I have it um, sloped down about an inch and three quarters. Um, and if you're like, how did you get these panels? This is very confusing. Let's back it up a few stages. So I started with my skirt block. Now this is basically a skirt block. Usually there are not lines in a skirt block. It'll usually look something like this. If you do not have pattern blocks, you gotta get them or you gotta make them because that is the basis for flat pattern making. That is a whole thing in itself. I'm not gonna go into that. Um, but if you wanna do flat pattern making, step one is you need to make yourself pattern blocks. So skirt blocks. Um, bodice blocks, sleeve block, all of that jazz. So that is step one. Once you've gotten that, you can move on to making your design. So this is like my skirt block. Basically what I'm going to do for this skirt is I'm going to add the line straight through the darts right here. Um, I'm doing that because I wanna eventually split these two things up to make them into panels. Because like I said, um, leather doesn't really dart well, so that's why I wanna make it into two panels instead of having a dart in the middle of my leather. Um, once I split those things up, it looks like this. That's literally all I did, I just split it up, and then these lines in the middle, I just smoothed them out very gently. That is all I did, and that's all I've done, hi, <laughs> so far. Um, actually, one more thing I did was I lowered the front waistline here, let me show you them. I lowered the front waistline to make that V and I changed the slope of the waistline. And then I also lengthened the skirt. I'm, let me move you back so you don't have to look at the screen. I am going to have to make more changes as well. Um, this is what I have for the prototype so far. I just, I'm prototyping, can you see? I think you can see. I'm gonna have to do more because I want it to be a tight mini skirt and I suspect um, because I didn't taper in the bottom at all, it's going to kind of just lay straight and not tight enough like around the butt. But I wanna do one thing at a time. So this is where we're at so far. And now we're gonna prototype. So let me show you what I've printed out. All right, here we are with the prototype. You can see it looks basically the same as what you saw on the computer screen, but I added seam allowance. I am using cardstock and packing tape. You guys always ask me how I get my patterns to stay, to stay so nice. The secret is a thick cardstock. Um, when I'm cutting this out, I'm not gonna worry about hemming anything, so I'm just gonna cut it 
at the line that it would be hemmed to. And I'm also not gonna put a facing in my first prototype just because I know I'm gonna have to make adjustments later and I don't wanna waste time on a facing. After that, just laying out all my panels nicely so that I can easily sew them super quickly. And then after I'm organized, I'm just gonna sew down all of those vertical seam lines, easy peasy, and let's see how it turned out. Hey guys, um, I just finished the first prototype. The sewing is really easy. Like you just sew it along the vertical seam lines. I'm not gonna go into how to do that because I'm gonna give you a full sewing tutorial, but I wanna show you my first prototype and how I'm going to adjust it. So here's the first prototype and this is a relatively like simple thing. So there's not a lot we have to change from the front. It honestly looks pretty perfect. Um, but when you get to the back, you can see that the seam is just flopped over because there's a ton of room in the waist. And if you're someone who like has a smaller waist, um, then usually this is where you have the extra fabric in the back right here. So I wanna take that out, but I don't wanna take out too much. I still want it to have some ease in the waist. So I'm going to be taking out fullness through like all of these seams, but mostly through these two back seams and this right here. When you're taking in seams with panels, you wanna always make sure you keep your side seam straight. So you don't wanna take it all from the back because then your side seam, look, it's, it's falling towards the back and you do not want that. You don't wanna take it all from the front, then your side seam goes to the front. You wanna make sure that side seam lays right straight up and down on your body. You also wanna make sure you don't take anything from this seam or this back seam because that's on the straight grain and you don't wanna ruin that. So basically the same seams you can play with are the princess seams and the side seam. The rest of the skirt pretty much fits nicely. Um, I wanna lower this like a half inch in the front so the V is a little bit deeper. And then I wanna raise this in the back like half an inch because right now it's not laying straight across my back. But yeah, basically that's it. I'm gonna go repattern and then I'll show you the difference between the old pattern and the new pattern and then I'll show you the final product. Okay, so here are the two prototypes, one on top of the other. The new one is on top, the old one is on the bottom. Basically, like I already explained, the only thing I really did was take in the waist along the top of these panels. I didn't take anything in along the bottoms. You can see that um, they're all like the same width at the bottom because that was fine, the hips were fine, the only thing was the top. Also, you'll notice like, ooh, why is this so much taller than the other one? I left the seam allowance along the top for this because I am going to add a facing along the top of the waistline just to finish the skirt a little bit more since this may be my final pro prototype, I wanna make sure I'm doing it correctly. So that's why I added seam allowance on the top of the waistline. Um, but you can see how much I kind of took in from each piece and then lowered that, raised that. And I think I might've, um, I said might've, I think I might've cause I'm filming this like a couple of days later, but I think I might've lengthened this like a quarter inch and that's it. Yeah, let's see how the next prototype turned out. Okay, so basically it's like pretty much perfect now the way it's fitting. I don't need to make any more adjustments. I'm also gonna be using um, a fabric with a bit of stretch, although you don't have to use stretch with this pattern. Obviously, this fabric doesn't have any stretch and it looks pretty darn good. Yeah, it's just kind of hugging to the shorts I'm wearing right now, but that's because I'm wearing shorts. The V looks nice, yay! If you look over here, like the side seams go straight up and down, which is something that's super important when adjusting. I think it's ready. Why, hello there. As you can see, I'm currently editing the video you are watching right now. Whoa, a little trippy, whoa. <laughs> um, yeah, but basically that's the end of the pattern making process. I do wanna show you guys the materials I bought for this so that you can get a little jump on this if you're waiting for the sewing tutorial. That will be out probably in a week from whenever I'm posting this. So if you're watching this when I uploaded it, Sewing tutorial and pattern are not out yet, but they will be out in a week. So 
if you want the pattern, just wait a week. If you want to pattern it yourself following this video, then start patterning it because the sewing tutorial will be out in a week and you'll be ready to go. So let me show you what I bought for this. I decided to buy this faux leather from Joann's. This is the Ember faux leather that's backed with a faux suede. Oh, I'm obsessed with this faux leather, my favorite faux leather ever. If you follow me on Instagram, you know this is the bomb.com. I'll link it down below. I got some fabric for the facing, not necessary to match it exactly. I'm going to be top stitching the faux leather. Oh, also, if you're not using faux leather, like you don't gotta do all this like top stitching that I'm gonna end up doing, but I got a top stitching thread that kind of matches. It's a little bit more gray, but it is on the cool gray side, regular thread. And I got an all purpose zipper because I'm gonna put in a centered zipper for the leather. If you're using not leather, like you're using a light to medium weight fabric, I would definitely have done invisible zipper, but for leather, invisible zippers are not usually the way to go. So that's what I'm doing. Anyways, I think that's all I have for you guys today. If you enjoyed this little pattern making process type video where I go into the reasons like why it's patterned that way and how I'm adjusting the prototypes, um, let me know. Let me know if you liked it because I can definitely do more of these since this is kind of just like what I'm doing here every day. I just thought it was kind of boring, but if you guys think it's educational and fun, then I can make a ton more, so. Yeah, let me know. If you like this video or if you learned something new, feel free to give me a thumbs up because it is the easiest way to support your favorite creators for free. Also feel free to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. My handle is Kiana Bonolo. Make sure you're subscribed and you have the notification bells turned on, especially if you don't want to miss, hello? There goes the zipper. <laughs> if you don't want to miss the sewing tutorial. Um, yeah, but I think that's everything. So. I will see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.